What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the NVIDIA RTX branch of Unreal Engine. This version of Unreal Engine contains a ton of optimizations uh, that make the engine run better, look better, as uh, well as has some really nice looking uh, ray tracing and neural graphics effects that are built in right with uh, NVIDIA's technologies, including the RTX GI and the RTX DI, which are uh, unique to this version of Unreal Engine. So before we get started, I am excited to announce that I now have a Patreon. So if you check out my Patreon here, you can uh, sign up and get shout outs and thank yous in videos, um, exclusive uh, Patreon only videos, VIP status and priority support in the Discord, or even get a personal shout out at the end of every video. So onto the video itself. For the prerequisites, uh, you are gonna need Visual Studio 2022 installed. You can use the community edition for this. It should work fine. You're gonna need a GitHub account. So make sure you sign up for GitHub first. And then we're gonna navigate to Unreal Engine's UE on GitHub page. And that's gonna run through the process, but I'm gonna go ahead and run you through the process as well. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is at unrealengine.com, you're gonna go to your account in the top right click on account and then go to apps and accounts. Make sure you connect your GitHub account to Unreal Engine and you'll be asked to authorize and then you'll get an email which will invite you to the Epic Games uh, GitHub uh, organization. And that's it. Once you are in the organization, uh, we can go back to the RTX branches page and choose which version you'd like to install. So I'm gonna choose 5.4 here. So I'll click access NVIDIA RTX branch for 5.4 and it's gonna take us to the GitHub page. Um, if you can't see this, it means your invitation did not go through. Make sure you go through the entire process and uh, make sure that the GitHub account is linked to your Unreal Engine account. Uh, once you're in, all you have to do is download the code for this. So let's go ahead and download the zip here. You can also go to releases and download here, but this is the 5.31 release. So we actually want the latest code from the uh, GitHub. So we're gonna download that and that will take some time. All right, so finished downloading. We're gonna go ahead and click on the downloads icon and open that up. And here we have the Unreal Engine folder. So let's place that somewhere. I'm gonna go into the Epic Games folder where I have the rest of my engines installed and I'm gonna drag this folder into that and we'll let it uh, transfer over. All right, so it looks like that finished. Let's go ahead and open up the Unreal Engine NVRTX folder. And the first thing we wanna do, because this is much smaller than all the other Unreal Engines here, if we right click on 5.4 and check the size and compare them, you'll see that Unreal Engine 5.4 is 36 gigabytes, almost 37, and uh, Unreal Engine NVRTX is only 2.75. So a lot of files are still needed. So let's open up that folder again, and we're gonna open setup.bat. So right over here, you'll see setup.bat. If we double click on that, it's gonna install or check and then install all the dependencies that are missing from the standard GitHub repo download because uh, the bandwidth on GitHub is very expensive. So I believe this basically downloads the rest of the dependencies from uh, Epic's servers. This will take a very long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and we'll continue when it's done. All right, so the dependencies have finished installing and it looks like we're at a uh, much healthier 61.7 gigabytes here. So let's open that back up. And this time we're gonna double click on generate project files. So let's double click on that. You'll see that it checks everything here and then it goes through a quick process. All right, so the project files have been uh, installed or created, I should say. And now we have the UE5.SLN file. You'll need Visual Studio 2022, which should be installed with those dependencies. But if it doesn't, uh, you'll just want to install Visual Studio 2022 uh, with Unreal Engine support. And then uh, we'll go ahead and double click on UE5SLN. And Unreal Engine uh, will open within Visual Studio. Now, this is gonna look really intimidating, but don't worry, there's not too much we actually need to do in here. All we need to do is switch the mode to Development Editor, because we're gonna use the Unreal Editor. Make sure that this is set to Win64, and then right-click on our project in the top and choose Build. Now, this is gonna take a very, very long time, and it looks like my computer's even stuttering a bit, so I'm gonna pause the video, and then uh, once that's done, we'll continue. All right, so it has been compiled, so there's just a few more steps. Uh, we're almost there. We're just gonna right-click on UE5 right here, and we're going to set as Startup Project, and then we're gonna right-click on UE5 again, and we're gonna go to Debug, and start a new instance. 
And this is going to run uh, the familiar Unreal Engine editor that you're used to and allow you to either make a new project or open existing projects. So we'll give this a few seconds. And there it is, Unreal Editor 5.4.4. And we can just minimize uh, Visual Studio for now and go ahead and use the editor just like you would normally. And yep, here we are. We can go ahead and choose a first person project, a third person project, or even go to recent projects or open projects by using the browse button below. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, uh, Mike the Tech, the architect, uh, Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah, Mike the Tech, the architect.